Denver Bronco running back Melvin Gordon is the latest suspected drunk driver in Colorado to escape a DUI conviction because of COVID-19. CBS4 investigator Brian Moss first reported last month how some police departments are refusing to give breath tests due to COVID. And that has courts tossing out some DUI charges. Here's Brian live at the Denver Police Department. Brian, Gordon's is certainly the highest profile case impacted by this issue. Certainly the highest profile person that we've heard of to benefit from this COVID fallout. And as you mentioned, Jim, the Denver Police Department here is one of a number of departments that stopped giving breath tests during the pandemic, believing that it might jeopardize the health of their officers who might contract the virus. However, that's leading to a growing number of judges, prosecutors and hearing officers dismissing DUI cases. And Melvin Gordon is one of them. Any, any alcohol tonight? When Denver police pulled over the Broncos running back for speeding last October. What, what kind of drink was that? Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio? Melvin Gordon quickly found himself undergoing sobriety tests. So you're being, you're being arrested for a possible DUI, all right? State law says DUI suspects can choose a breath or blood test. Denver police only offered one. They only give you a blood test due to COVID. This week, Denver prosecutors dropped the DUI case against Gordon, allowing him to plead to reckless driving, a much less serious charge. A spokesperson for the Denver DA's office acknowledged they did that because Gordon was never offered a breath right, test. Like if you do the blood test, we would expect that the government can follow the laws to make decisions that are safe and legal for all of our citizens. And these Denver lawyers won a similar case last week. A judge issuing this ruling that Denver police were wrong to not offer their client, a female DUI suspect, a breath test. The judge killed the DUI charge. But just as big is when the police determine they're above the law and they don't follow the law. We found several major Colorado police departments, including Aurora, Colorado Springs, and Denver, suspending breath tests during COVID, believing it could spread the virus. It's important that we have accountability for individuals that, that choose uh, to, to drive while impaired, as well as it's important that we're not uh, unnecessarily or unduly spreading uh, COVID-19. But the state health department has repeatedly said, with proper precautions, there is no added risk to police doing breath tests. As for Gordon, had the DUI charge stuck, he would have suffered far more severe consequences, losing millions of dollars in salary and possibly losing his job. This is my first time in cuffs ever in I'm life. Not, right? like I said, I'm not happens. a problem child, okay. bro. And it's worth noting and emphasizing that most police departments in Colorado that we spoke to and contacted are still giving breath tests, but a handful of major departments are not. And it can and is causing some friction with prosecutors. A spokesperson for the Denver DA's office said of the Gordon case, they do not like to be put in the position of having to drop charges. Reporting live, I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado First. All right, Brian, thank you. Let's